Hi Virgo, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. Uh, this is the energy for you right now. Uh, thank you for tuning in. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Virgo. All right, Lord God, thank you for blessing Virgo with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so we've got these two cards popping out. The Knight of Cups and the High Priestess. Okay. So some of you may have some inspiration to write, okay, or just, this will be creative writing, also um, poetry, there's something that you're doing from home, or you're, you're working from home, there's also a really spiritual connection here, but there's still an air of somebody juggling the decision to be all in. They put up a good uh i know a good front in terms of making you believe that they are all in um they're good at juggling they're good at juggling the energy um they they're good at um making it seem like you are the only one or that this is where they really want to be um this person is juggling either another person uh, or another life you know it could be a person or a life there's somebody who has a, a split life or they're able to um, they're able to do two things at the same time and it's not tiring it's not stressful um, it's okay for them to do this somebody is keeping a secret in terms of the marriage in the marriage somebody has their own plans also uh, for themselves even if they are married they have individual plans there could be someone who is um, being a Romeo, uh, seducing a lover behind your back, or this is what you're doing, Virgo. Money is coming in, money is coming out, but it looks like something of what with the money in terms of what someone is doing every single day, um, their habits with the money, it's going to tell the real story of what's being hidden here with the high priestess i don't know if someone's going to look at someone's finances or financial documents or bank statement somebody's transferring money yeah um trying to balance the books it's like the money comes in it goes out there is a juggle or it's a struggle here for you um you may have had a conversation that brought you some type of enlightenment somebody could be defensive they try to come off loving when you communicate with them but they're defensive about their position also and how they see things some of you feel like you need to get under some counsel some a spiritual counsel starts some some routine some regimen about yourself and your life in order to like get more power in your life here or to take your power back from a relationship person somebody who may have uh, put you in a place of feeling powerless you're waiting for the transfer you're waiting for the money or you're waiting for something um you could be at home strategizing trying to think of what to do next you're keeping something or a piece of information to yourself you could go to a corporation and ask for financials or documents something about documentation financials Somebody wants you just to stay in line, stay in order. Could be dealing with a Taurus, Cancer, Pisces, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Capricorn. One more card for Virgo, for yet for Virgo. Queen of Cups. Okay, so the cards want you to develop yourself, develop your own psychic intuition. Listen to your intuition. Don't let anything outside of you destabilize you. Something you've already known was happening is going on. Was is still there? It's not a mystery. Um, the mystery has been taken out. Uh, something you resolved it, or it's been solved, or you know what's going on now. 
you know what's going on now so now the cards want you to focus on you be focused on developing yourself developing um self-care also spruce it up put energy effort time into yourself your emotions should be closed because they should be for you right now um you are interested in really just giving of yourself you need to kind of hone in that energy You were meant to be um, to to sh share this uh, gift that you have with the world in terms of um, being no nurturing, loving, um, giving good advice about something that you're good at. Some of you need to go through the healing process of after finding out something. You're going to get some psychic downloads or dreams or psychic abilities are being heightened right now for you. You need to really listen to your intuition here. Something is changing in a big way for you. You need to change yourself also. Your fortune is changing. There could be how you, ch how you view a masculine energy is changing. How you view masculinity and money and power and reputation is changing. Something was greatly disappointing or it's disappointing you, but at the same time, the cards really want you to focus on you, your feminine energy. So this is what I have for you, Virgo. If it resonates for you, go over to the website, book your own reading there, take advantage of the text question, or you can text the question to the number below pay for your question you also can donate to the channel if you feel in mood to do so if you took something from the reading okay weight loss i don't know if you want to focus on weight loss i don't know why that came up um also take advantage of the full moon um ritual happening on july 23rd if you want to release energies Get in on this full moon energy, okay? Um, where you can banish, release, um, have a clean slate. Use the full moon energies to, uh, to start over, to start anew, to heal. Some of you, this is all this blue in this car, need to heal from something. Yeah. All right, Virgo, this is your reading. Take care.